Hey everybody, Rob from Premier Fitness Massage here. Wanted to continue the discussion that we started with Pec Minor. Um, we talked about in a previous video how Pec Minor can limit the motion of that external rotation that we need to get in order to get to the overhead position, so a snatch position, overhead press positions. Um, so that was a lot for our functional athletes. Wanted to talk a little bit more today for our aesthetic athletes. Um, how Pec Minor can really mess things up for them as far as their posing goes. So for many of the, the bodybuilders, the figure competitors, which my wife Stacy is a figure competitor, for her, one of the big things that they look for on that back pose is a nice line from that lower trap. Okay? We want that nice V shape. Well, when a muscle is being pulled long, it's thinning out as it's being pulled. So it's basically we're stretching out that muscle in a sense. Whereas if we can have this shoulder blade sit correctly, we can get this nice thick line. Well, if we look at the line that essentially happens with traps there, and we were to say that opposite muscle is going to pull it long, well, we don't really have a muscle that's up here. But if we turn it around here, we do have a muscle that's right there in line. So it's coming from our coracoid process here down to our third and fourth ribs, which is our pec minor. So if pec is tied over here, pec minor, it's going to pull this shoulder blade up and over that direction and it's going to lengthen out our line back here. So what we want to do is get this pec minor to release allowing that shoulder blade to sit back in its natural position and allow us to get that nice thick line through that V. So just because you're an athlete and you cannot get that nice V line to come out doesn't mean you need necessarily more bulking or more mass through that lower trap. It's very possible, but it might just be that you need to release that pec minor with a little bit of soft tissue work.